Pesharaftu Bima Bima Raftika Bima Raftiki <laughs> This video is going to be a comedy Hi guys, Salam Alaikum, Eid Mubarak to all my Muslim friends um, Welcome back to my channel, if you're new here my name is Gib and I make lifestyle content. In today's video, I'm going to be learning Arabic with you guys. Um, I got a bunch of things ready for me to learn. I plan that I'll use one month of my summer break for learning Arabic. Um, I'm going to make two videos like this. This one and one more video at the end of the month when I'm done with my study plan for Arabic. We'll do a little recap and who knows, I might be good at it after a month and I might make another video of me speaking Arabic fluently. Hopefully that works out and yeah. So I got some things ready. I got tips from online on how to learn Arabic fast, how to go about it. And I also figured out that I needed to pick a dialect to learn because there's different languages, like there's different dialects of Arabic. There's the... Emirati one, there is the Egyptian one, everyone has their own dialect. So first I'm going to be learning the modern standard Arabic, the MSA, that is used generally I think. It's used on the radio, it's used on TV and everyone can speak that and they also use it while texting. And the second one I'll be learning as a dialect is the Emirati one. Since I live here, it will be easier for me to communicate with the locals and indigents here. So I decided to learn that as a second dialect. So first off, I'm starting with the basic stuff, which is the MSA one. I would learn the modern standard one. And let's see how it goes. I'll make it a time lapse. And then when I'm done, I'll speak to you guys. Let's see how it works out, okay? And also, if you're willing to teach me Arabic for free, that would be great. Leave your Instagram in the comment section. I'll DM you. We could have our study section. We could be learning Arabic bodies. Or we could exchange. Like, if you want to learn English, and then you teach me Arabic, or fun stuff like that, we could do that. So just leave your Instagram or anything for me to contact you in the comment section. I think that would be cool um yeah and we could also make like if you also want to learn arabic too we could have like a google meeting or we could have a study group where we could learn arabic together i also think that would be cool too so just let me know what you think in the comment section and without wasting much of your time let's get right into the video hey guys so um i got a video on youtube for conversation in modern standard Arabic because in school like my first semester we already did like basic stuff of learning words like numbers so I won't be starting from that from that I'll just start from conversation because I really want to improve more on my conversation and spoken Arabic not just the written stuff um, so this is the video now I'm going to play it and you guys are going to hear my pronunciation, okay? Um, let's go. Let me play it again. I don't think I got it. Let me repeat it. Marhaban. Marhaban. Marhaban, that means hello. Marhaban, I'll just write that down. And this is my book, I'll be writing stuff down. I wrote some things already. Let's get the balance. Um, so I'm going to write the word. Ma, 
abar marhaban marhaban means hello ahlan halan كيف حالك كيف حالك ahlan halan halan is a reply to hello it's like saying hi but mahaba is the first one like the first person to say hello is mahaba but when you're replying like when you're saying hello back you're saying halan so it's marhaba halan both means hello ahlan كيف حالك كيفك كيف حالك how are you كيف حالك لبس وانت كيف كيف حالك كيف حالك that means how are you كيف حالك if you are an Arabic person watching this كيف حالك respond in the comment section and let me know if I get anything wrong if you want to correct anything there was a time I was learning with my friends like one of my Arabic friends she was like I need to use my I need to use my breath or my throat while pronouncing the words like kifak, kifak. I have to concentrate on the pronunciation and not just say kifak or kifak, kifak. It has the, <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it. I just hope I'm doing well. Um, labas. What? Labas. Labas means not bad. That sounds similar to English, right? Labas. That means not bad. Like if you say keifa kaluki, keifa kaluki, that means how are you? And then my response would be labas. Like I'm not bad, I'm good. Okay. Then. Wa anta. Wa anta. Wa anta. That means and you. Wa anta. That means and you. Keifa haluka. Kaifak haluka. That means I'm saying, and you, how are you? So I'm repeating the question. Why does it look like I'm the one teaching Arabic? I'm the, I'm the one learning it. I'm just sharing with you guys how I'm learning this. So let me put together all I've learned. So the first one I learned was mahaba. That means hello. Marhaba. Marhaba. And in response, if someone told me marhaba, I would say... Forgot. Hala. I think it's Hala or Halan. I should have written that down. This is what I like to write. The Marhaba I wrote. I remember that. Halan. 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 That's hello. It still means hello. Halan. I'll just say that means hi. Then Kefak Haluki. Hey, Fakhaluki. That is, how are you? Hey, Fakhaluki. That's a sentence on its own. Hey, Fakhaluki. Haluki. That's, how are you? Labas. What? Anta? Hey, Fakhaluka. I'm thinking there's a difference between Haluka and and Haluki. Okay, so Haluki is female, Aluka is male, masculine. So if if it's a dude, if it's a guy, I'm saying Kefak Haluka. Or if it's a female, I'm saying Kefak Haluki. Ooh. <laughs> I'm doing great, you guys. Okay. Labas, wanta, kaifa haluka? Labas, wanta, wanta, kaifa haluka? Labas, wanta, kaifa haluka? That means I'm not bad. And you, how are you doing? Or how are you? اسمي توم وانتي ما اسمك 
it's me Tom. I mean my name is Tom. So if I'm saying my name to a stranger, I'll be like, it's me gift. Wanta. What's your name? Ma is smoky. Ma is smoky is what's your name? That means is smoky means name. So I'm saying my name is Ismi. Ismi is my name. So if I'm asking you, I'll say Waanta. And you? Waanta means and you. Waanta means and you. So if I'm putting it together in a sentence, it's Ismi gift. Waanta is muka. If it's a guy, if it's a girl, then I'll say is me gift wa anta is muki. Iki is for female, ka is for male. I'm thinking, yeah, because of what they taught me before. Anna is me. Anna is me, Laura. I think she's saying my name is Laura. Yes. Anna is me, Laura. So if I was asked what's my name, I would say Anna is me, gift. Anna is me, gift. Anna is me. I think that's another way of saying my name. Is instead of saying is me, she says Anna is me. So it's almost the same thing. So yeah, that's that about name introduction. Okay, so this is a new one. Kasharaftu means I'm honored. Then Bima Shiraf Tiki is I'm hum um Kasharaf to Bima Oh wait. Sharaf to Bima if I take your love. Bima Raf to Ka. Kasharaf to Bima if I take your love. Bima Raf Tiki. Bima Raf Tiki. Kasharaf to Bima Rati. Bima Raf Tiki. Yeah. That means I'm honored to meet you. Kasharaf to be maraf tiki. Kasharaf to be maraf tiki. Yeah. That means I'm honored to meet you. I'm honored to meet you, my subscribers. Kasharaf to be maraf tika. Be maraf tiki. <laughs> this video is going to be a comedy. Okay. You won't believe it was a 1 minute 30, 1 minute 30 seconds long video and it took me like 10 good minutes to learn that conversation. But it's all good. I was able to get like the greeting in modern standard Arabic. So um, just a little recap of what I learned. Marhaba is hello or Alan is also hello and then Kefakaluki is saying how are you? And then in response I would say um la bas. that means nothing much or not bad. La bas means not bad. And then I'll say wanta kefakaluka. That means you too, how are you? So I got that. I'm so happy. Um I don't want this video to be too long, so I'm going to do all my learning off camera and then at the end I'll come back to you guys and like offload what I've learned. So stay tuned. For example, in the news or um, if you are listening to um, the religious um, events or something related to media news, something related to politics, then you will hear Mona Standard Army call. So it's one eternity later so guys this is a quick update i was able to learn more phrases in the msa language the modern standard arabic one um so yes means naam 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 no means la 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 and from the beginning, salam alaikum is the general um, religious greeting. And then marhaba is hello, halan is hi. Then um, if I want to say my name, I'll be like 
um, Anna a smoky gift, I guess. I guess that's it. And then I'm sorry is Anna is safe. Anna is safe is I'm sorry. Thank you is shukran. I know that very well. I've been using it for quite a while now. When I go to the mall, I see people, I tell them they help me do things, I tell them shukran. Um please means men fadlek. Men fadlek. Men fadlek. Men fadlek. Please. And then that's pretty much it. Of for this video, the main goal of this video is just train your listening of Arabic. And that's all I have learned for today. Um, do you know much? Um, I'll add a little bit from Duolingo. I'll try to practice with you there and I'll show you guys. Uh. Do. Do. Dude. Da. Do. Dead. Dude. Da. Do. Right now, I'm watching an Arabic cartoon. By the way, if you know any Arabic movies or cartoons, please recommend me in the comment section. I learned very well while watching movies. For example, I could speak Korean thanks to K-dramas and K-pop. I was able to learn Korea faster. So I think it will work the same for Arabic, definitely. So if you have any good movies or cartoons, I don't mind. Please leave them in the comment section. This is like... A favor i'm asking you i need your help okay your girl needs you thank you so i'll continue this one this isn't like an actual cartoon it's just it was made to teach you arabic so i'm just playing it. <laughs> Shukran is ten. Yeah, I saw that. Kada mukhek. Kada mukhek. Kada That's funny. Kada mukhek. Kufa hal kada. Kufa hal. Kufa hal. Kufa hal kada. Kufa hal kada. Okay. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video to the end. Um, these are the few words I was able to learn today. Let me know if you want me to make a part two or you want to see another video at the end of the month when I'm done with my whole study. Masalama, Habibti, Hayati, Habibi, Shukran. Thank you for watching. And once again, Eid Mubarak. I hope you enjoy your Eid. Bye.